Uh, hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am going to be doing an unboxing of my new uh, MIDI controller. It is the Keylab Essential 49 from um, Arturia. So uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get this was to get another MIDI controller um, as I've only got uh, my Native Instruments S49 Mark II nowadays. Um, so and the other reason was that to, to get the full version of Analog Lab V because uh, I just have the intro version um, and I have done videos on that as well. So um, it, it isn't purely just for Analog Lab, but obviously it is designed to work with all the presets within Analog Lab V or any version of Analog Lab. So as you can see, it has uh, eight pads um, and it has the usual uh, mod pitch bend, transpose buttons. Uh, this is kind of like your DAW area. Um, so it will map to Logic um, Ableton, Pro Tools, Cubase, most of the, the main DAWs um, and you have your kind of main control panel here for going through the presets. Nine knobs and nine faders so uh, the last one is uh, for the main volume so these are set up to control um, the presets on Analog Lab um, and these can be used either in Analog Lab or in Logic as volume faders and it has uh, I think velocity Sensitive keys, let's just have a look. Uh, so yeah, we're running through the bullet points. So you've got performance pads, uh, demand control center, um, intuitive browser, you've got MIDI channel select, you've got performance controls, um, you've got chord play, 49 note keyboard with velocity sensitive keys, um, you've got uh, rotary knobs and faders, um, you've got Kensington security lock, you've got MIDI out on the back, You've got sustained pedal input, you've got, uh, so it is USB powered, Analog Lab V, you get Ableton Live Lite and you get the uh, Model D Grand Piano uh, included with this. So, I mean, the cost of Analog Lab itself is about the same price as I paid for the controller. So, I mean, you can get this, you know, it's on offer sometimes for about 90 90 pounds, 90 dollars, whatever. But normally it's like 199 uh, euros, dollars, pounds, whatever. There's not really much point buying Analog Lab on its own. And like I said, I am down to one um, kind of main MIDI controller now. So I did sell off quite a bit of my gear at the end of uh, this year. I thought I would get um, an Arturia one because I don't really have any Arturia gear at all now. So let's get it open and have a look. So we have got a quick start guide, we've got. And we've got, um, I think a USB cable somewhere. Uh, and that's about it, yeah. Yeah, so we've got USB cable. And that is it. And can I get it out? Can I help? There we go, there we go. Right, and that is your lot, so. Uh, oh. Uh, and it is quite light. <laughs> I mean, compared to my native instruments, um, it is a lot lighter uh, than that. Which is, you know, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's, uh, it's reasonably light. Um, and let's have a look, let's see what we get it out. You can see there's quite a lot of hollow space at the back. Um, right. So that is it. Um, so yeah, so it, it is all plastic. There's no, uh, you know, there's no kind of metal bit. The case is plastic. It has the kind of fake wooden ends, which Arturia like to do. Um, and it is and then get this out, see what the keys are like. It, so we have got, uh, yeah, kind of ridged uh, pitch bend and mod wheel. They're not kind of rubberized, but they are, there's kind of ridge on them. And these are soft touch buttons. The pads are very, oh, they're quite hard. The pads are quite hard, but I'm not really going to be using them because I've got my machine for that. Uh, and like I said, you've got your uh, DAW uh, command center up here. So you've got save, undo, uh, the uh, metronome and punch in. And then you've got the transport. So you've got loop, 
um, back, forward, stop, play, pause and record. And then you've got this. So it's just a, it's not like a four way thing. It's just a straightforward um, control knob for going through all your presets. And then you can step back and forward there. Um, and then you've got a preset button and a category button. Um, and then let's say you've got these. So these are kind of, um, these can either be using for panning or they are set to Kertoff resonance, uh, LFO rate, uh, LFO amplitude, uh, parameter one, parameter two, parameter three, parameter four, or it says pan one through to eight. Um, and these are also channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for using in uh, your DAW for controlling the, um, so I'll just move this up a bit. Yeah, so these are used for uh, volume control in the uh, the DAW, or they are actually assigned to attack, decay, sustain, release, attack, decay, sustain, release, and that is your master um, volume as well. So the keys are, are definitely synth keys. They're quite shiny um, and very springy. <laughs> so yeah, so it's not the greatest um, keyboard, I would say, for playing. They're very, very springy. And they are very, well, they are quite shiny looking, yeah, so. Um, but we'll see what they're like when they play, so. That is basically it. And on the back, let's say, there's not much. There's uh, MIDI, sustain, power, a USB power and DC power. And then let's say you've got eight felt pads, but it is very light um, in comparison to my S49 Mark II. So anyway, let's uh, get this hooked up. I'll get it all registered, get the, um, the software downloaded and we'll see how it sounds. So the first thing before you can start using all your Arturia keyboard and software is you need to uh, download the Arturia Software Center um, software and this is what it looks like and you can see uh, those are my products that I have activated so I've got the uh, Analog Lab Lite and Analog Lab 4, 5 uh, under here so that is Analog 4, 5 you can see I've got four activations left um, and then because uh, I had Analog Lab Lite um, and an intro before uh, and then there's the MIDI control center that you need as well if well you don't need it but it's quite useful just to set up the uh, the keyboard and then these are the new things that you get so the information on the box is well out of date for this um so you don't get the model d piano you get the mini v from moog the rev plate 140 and then the stage 73 version 2 electric soul machine it says here so yeah so you can see what's activated so there's the ms20 that i got and reviewed um last week so and it'll show if there's any updates and then you can go and explore other products as well so these are all the individual instruments that are from version 9 i think it is of arturia we're on now i can't remember um so these are all the individual so analog lab only has the presets for these but if you buy these individually you can um get control over the whole emulated vsts you know analog lab is a pretty good way of of getting into arturia's vsts if you click uh, register new product um you re once you've registered your account you can get to this page um and this is where you put in your serial number and your unlock number and then that will allow the software to be accessed uh, within the software center and then that's pretty much it then you just download that and install it so that is the software center uh, so this is the media control um, well it says 88 but it's basically just come up with that and so it's for the uh, essentials range so there's a 49 61 and an 88 if you want to change what uh, various things do, you can. You can go in and change uh, the colors and the channel, MIDI channels and the notes and whatever um, for every individual kind of thing. Um, uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would just leave it as it is on the default. Um, so your user one default um, because yeah, it, um, it's a bit hit and miss, I have to say. So that's it. And you've also got the device settings, user MIDI channel one. We've got Vegas mode enabled. I'm not sure what that is. And I'm using the Mackie control with the DAW fader mode of pickup and the velocity and pad uh, velocity and key velocity both on linear. So that's it. And like I said, you can either have jump or pickup on the fader controls, but I would just leave it exactly as that. Um, and like I said, you can 
um, export and import different settings as well. Um, you can save as new import export down there and it will automatically come up with that in the right um, controller um, and that is uh, that is pretty much it.